Here we are, Mississippi Outdoors, and today we're gonna do some bow fishing on the Mississippi River with my buddy Hughes Skinner. And Hughes, he does some guiding outfitting here on the river and mainly bow fishing this time of year, don't you? Yes, sir. What are we gonna shoot today? We're gonna shoot some gator gar and some long nose. We're gonna see if we can get some clear water right off some shoots off of Mississippi okay. and see if we can get some big gator gar. And you said earlier we're gonna go north up the river, right? Yes, sir. When the water's falling, um, all the clear water that's been sitting up comes out, comes out into the river. Right. And so if we can sit right there, man, Gar should be right there. Wait, right it. there with that muddy and that clear water hit, aren't they? Yes, sir. Awesome. Let's go do it, man. Yeah, when it comes to this Mississippi River, you can't play around. No, I always rather be safe than sorry, man. How long have you been doing, you know, guiding? I've been guiding for about five years. Um, I got into it when I was little. I, my first time I went boat fishing. I sh we, man, we smoked them. I'll tell you what, I, I've never had an experience like it. Once I picked it up, I never put it down. It's just a passion of mine. It's, it's great to get outside and, and have a lot of fun with a bow and arrow. All right, we're going to try right here for a second. Which ones you want? Uh, mine's the blue one, and yours is your choice. <laughs> All right, but what are we looking for? Basically, any trash fish that'll swim, but uh, okay. main target today is going to be some gar. We're going to see if we can get on some big ones. It was a beautiful day. The sun was perfect, and we started shooting so, fish. What's the trick to, to shooting at one, you know, in the water like so this? So if you have one like that right there, what you want to do yeah, is you, you want to put your air a little under him. Yeah. And when you shoot, hit him just like that. <laughs> just I like, mean, he just like that. Good shot. Thank you, sir. Just like that. Spot a gun. Two, two. Got him. I got him. I got, we both got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that'll hurt you. He's still right there, watch it. There you go, good shot. Good shot. You got a pretty good reload time. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Like today we got pretty much a blue skies. That's kind of uh, you know situation you want. So you, you can see right? these fish. So you see the fish right there, how they're how they're just glowing. I mean yeah. they're they're just I mean there's six or seven out there. Just, they're just I mean they're basically sunning, aren't they? Alright, so now look look at it now. So you can't hardly find can't them. Can't hardly see them. There's a fish right there. Make a shot. There it is. The limit on gator gar is two per person. Look at me. Make a shot. Oh, man. See, that's why I don't shoot these. <laughs> There's gonna be a big fish anywhere. He, he's gonna be over here. It's pretty fun, man. Yeah. A lot of guys never tried it and, and just don't know. I mean, you out here on the lake, the wind's blowing, and you cover a lot of ground, too. Did you get him? Yeah, I got a guard. You got a good one? Oh, uh, he's full. The adrenaline rush when you stick a 100-pound fish is, it's a, it's a rush, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's addicting. Well, they say it always happens when you least expect it, and I'm down there talking to Scooter, and oh, Hughes sticks a big fish. You gonna get him up to the top, then you want me to put one in him, right? There we go. <laughs> Man, what a fish. Oh, like my buddies say back home, I hit him right there. <laughs> That's a workout, ain't it? A hundred pounds of dead weight. That's a workout, good job, bro. So this time of year, you said the gar are spawning, right? Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully when we get up here in some shallow water, uh, hopefully warmer water, you'll see, every time we'll see one, there'll be two right side by side. All right, so, so the male, he's following behind the female. Correct. Hi. Close. There you go. Now how in the world? Dang, right over. Ah, I broke my reel. Dude, I got him. You got him. It's just like bow hunting. See if he can shoot more, you know? Two, three. Dang, you got it. I shot two left. Another good gator guard, boy. You put another one in him? Oh, yeah. Got it. That's perfect. You gotta watch the water level. As far as the fish, when the river's falling, the fish come up. When the when the river's rising, the fish go down. And so when that happens, you gotta time it perfect and the gator gar will be waiting for you when you get there. Oh gator gar. 
low the river is, the more concentrated the fish are. And when it's high, they're like this. They're kind of spread out, but they get bigger. So it's a lot of fun either way. Well, like with the river where it is now, you got so many spots you can go that you can get to from the big river, um, which makes it nice too. One, three. One, two, smoking. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's about, baby, right there. I'll wrap around and tell you. There you go, I got, no, I didn't. <laughs> ah, there you go. Hey, I'm looking at you too. All right. All right, thank you, bro. I got him. See, he usually counts one, two, three, and we shoot. Right. I got some buddies that'll do one, two, and shoot. <laughs> got him. Stone, and that'll get you Get you I'll double you. Look at you, man. <laughs> no. That boy can shoot, man. <laughs> that was it, right there, right there. I missed him. That's a good fish right there, boy. Yes, sir. That's a great fish. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in those teeth either. I knew a little spot where, you know, I thought we would probably get into some pretty big fish, but when we got there, uh, we had a little surprise waiting for us. Y'all get him? Yeah, I got one, bro. Hey, this is the biggest fish I've ever shot on. It's this, huge. This it's is the huge. biggest fish I've ever shot. Like, really big fish. I thought it was a log at first, and then, nah. yeah. I mean, it's a big fish. I went right over him. I can't tell where you got him hit. He's right in the back. The fish took off, and right when he took off, uh, Kevin's line snapped. Got him. You know, up, 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 up. It popped. It's all right, it's all right. We'll get another I should have hit the button. Yeah. Can you get that other bow? We don't see the fish again for another 30 minutes. The fight is, is on, but once I pull the fish back to the surface, Kevin does get another arrow. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, that's a big fish, man. I've never this is like Jurassic Park stuff right here, man. That's a big fish. We need to get that other pole. Yeah, we need to. Rig something up here. You wanna? You just wanna kind of let him sit somewhere and yeah, get gonna, another, not hold both. I don't. I don't want him in the. Uh, I don't yeah. want him to get up in the trees. Oh, I'll bring him again. All right. Do you want me to rig one up and you hold these? Yeah. You know how you are. No, not really. <laughs> this fish ain't fit in the bucket. No, he ain't. I don't know where we're gonna put him. <laughs> Might not fit in the boat. <laughs> hey, there's not many times you can hook a fish like this and can't get him in the bucket. There you go. See? <laughs> Told you like jaws. Put a oh. barrel in him. See the airs? Gator gar have this, this bladder inside them that where they have to breathe oxygen. It's coming up for air over there. The reason we saw this fish at the surface of the water would be for him coming up for oxygen. You're a 200 pound fish, bro. Yeah. All right, there's the airs. Here it comes, here it comes. I go up on the deck, get another one. I put another one in him. Yes. <laughs> Holy cow, what a fish. It's like one of them big alligators in September. You just tie him to the side of the boat. I can't, he's so heavy. <laughs> this man working three bows. There you go. <laughs> I can tighten one up. There you go, you got it. You come off? We, we fought the fish, I think it was close to an hour and a half. I, I know it was it was a struggle. All right, where's that other gas fish? You still in him? And just the pure weight of that fish was, was really amazing. <laughs> we got him now. We got him. You've been doing this a long time, brother. Would uh, a fish this size, I mean, what kind of age are we looking at on a fish like this? Man, it's got to be over 100. I don't think I've ever seen one this big, ever. <laughs> That's scared of the water. Well, maybe now I am. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a fish. <laughs> we get on bank, and I'm just sitting there just shake it, I mean, as hard as I can. I mean, to shoot something like that is absolutely amazing. I'm kind of wore out, Hughes. <laughs> I am too, man, that was hell. I mean, you've been fishing this river since you were about five, six years old, you said earlier. Yeah, man. Have you ever seen an alligator guard that big? Man. In the boat? In the boat, I have never seen one that big. That's a fish of a lifetime, man. Hey, and it's just now lunchtime. Hey. We still got more fishing to do. We kept fishing a little bit, shot a few more fish, and then I think we finally realized, I, th I think we got a record here, and, uh, and we did. Now it took us from 12 to I think two or three to get there. So he was out of the water for three or four hours. Um, so 
They might have lost a little weight, uh, water weight between then. We took it to the scales and showed 182. The previous record was 175, but uh, there ended up being a second fish killed that was a little bigger than that. So we actually had the second biggest alligator gar ever recorded in Mississippi history. But it is a BAA state record. I think it was an absolute honor to do it on camera. I think that was just an extra bonus, and it was a lot of fun. About a week after we shot this fish, Jim Shockey was going to be in town, and he ended up going with me for two days, and we got to talking about this fish. I said, hey, Jim, I got a 200-pound gator gar. You want it? <laughs> He said, yes, I do. And so we are in the process of mounting it and getting it in Jim Shockey's museum. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Pamela Weaver. And I'm Kevin Meacham. See, See you outdoors. outdoors. Time is time well spent